You're a Canadian senior, diligently checking your mail when suddenly an official government notice catches your eye. Your heart skips a beat as you read the headline, a $2,100 payment from the Old Age Security Program. But what's the real story behind this significant boost to seniors' wallets? Stay with me, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about this game-changing announcement that's set to impact millions of Canadian seniors. The streets of Ottawa were buzzing with anticipation as government officials gathered to make what would become one of the most significant announcements for Canadian seniors in recent years. The Old Age Security Program, a cornerstone of Canada's retirement income system since 1952, is undergoing a transformation that will see eligible seniors receive a substantial $2,100 payment. This isn't just another government handout, it's a carefully crafted response to the rising cost of living that's been keeping seniors awake at night. Let's rewind the clock to understand how we got here. For decades, Canadian seniors have relied on the OAS as a fundamental pillar of their retirement income. But with inflation soaring and the cost of basic necessities skyrocketing, many seniors found themselves making impossible choices between heating their homes and filling their prescriptions. The government's response? A bold move to provide immediate relief through this enhanced payment system. The timing couldn't be more crucial. Statistics Canada reports that seniors are facing unprecedented financial challenges, with nearly 15% living below the poverty line. The $2,100 OAS payment isn't just a number, it represents groceries, utility bills, and peace of mind for countless elderly Canadians who've spent their lives building this country. But here's where it gets interesting. The payment structure is designed to be more than just a temporary band-aid. Behind the scenes, government analysts have been meticulously studying the impact of economic pressures on Canada's senior population. Their findings paint a stark picture. The traditional retirement safety nets are being stretched thin by unprecedented global economic challenges. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed vulnerabilities in our support systems, while subsequent inflation has eroded fixed incomes at an alarming rate. These aren't just statistics, they're the reality faced by millions of Canadian seniors every day. Consider the story of George and Martha Wilson, a retired couple from Winnipeg who've watched their carefully planned retirement savings struggle to keep pace with rising costs. We thought we had it all figured out, Martha shares, her voice tinged with concern. But when the cost of everything from bread to heating started climbing, we realized our calculations from five years ago just weren't holding up. Their story is echoed in senior communities across the country, from Victoria to St. John's. The $2,100 OAS payment initiative emerged from months of consultation with economic experts senior advocacy groups, and financial analysts. The government's approach wasn't just to throw money at the problem, it was to create a targeted intervention that would provide meaningful support where it's needed most. This meant examining everything from income thresholds to delivery mechanisms to ensure the program would have maximum impact. Let's break down the eligibility criteria in detail because this is where many seniors need clarity, First and foremost, age requirements. You must be 65 or older to qualify for the payment, but age is just the beginning. The program takes into account your years of residency in Canada, your current income level, and your existing benefits status. For those who've lived in Canada for at least 40 years after age 18, the full payment is available. Those with fewer years of residency may receive a prorated amount based on their time in Canada. The income thresholds have been carefully calibrated to ensure support reaches those who need it most. For seniors with an annual income below $79,054, the full $2,100 payment is within reach. Those earning between $79,054 and $129,000, and $757 will receive a gradually reduced amount. 
This sliding scale approach ensures that the program remains targeted while acknowledging that financial pressure affects seniors across different income brackets. But here's something crucial that many haven't realized. The payment structure includes provisions for couples where both partners are eligible seniors. Each qualifying individual can receive their own payment, potentially doubling the impact for households. This recognition of household dynamics shows the thoughtful planning behind the program. The application process has been designed with seniors' needs in mind. Most eligible recipients will receive their payments automatically, but there's a robust system in place for those who need to apply or update their information. The government has established dedicated support channels, including a toll-free helpline staffed by trained professionals who can answer questions in multiple languages, online resources with step-by-step -step guides and frequently asked questions, in-person assistance at Service Canada locations nationwide, community outreach programs to help isolated or technology-challenged seniors. The timing of the payments has been strategically planned to align with periods when seniors typically face higher expenses. The distribution schedule takes into account seasonal cost variations, such as higher heating bills in winter months or increased medical expenses at the start of the year. This isn't just about providing money, it's about providing it when it's needed most. Let's talk about the broader economic impact, because this program isn't happening in isolation. Economic analysts predict that the injection of funds into senior households will have significant ripple effects throughout local economies. When seniors have more disposable income, local businesses benefit, from pharmacies to grocery stores, from home maintenance services to leisure activities, the economic boost extends far beyond individual recipients. Dr. Sarah Chen, an economist specializing in retirement security, explains, When we support seniors' purchasing power, we're not just helping individuals, we're strengthening entire communities. Seniors tend to spend locally, supporting small businesses and creating jobs in their neighborhoods. This multiplier effect means the $2,100 payments could generate even greater economic benefits as the money circulates through local economies. The program also includes sophisticated fraud prevention measures. The government has established a dedicated task force to protect seniors from scams related to the payment. This includes monitoring for suspicious activities, educating seniors about common fraud tactics, and working with financial institutions to flag potential scams. Remember, legitimate government communications about the payment will never ask for personal banking information over the phone or by email. Meet Robert, a 70-year-old former teacher in Halifax, Living alone on a fixed income, he's been struggling with rising grocery costs and utility bills. The $2,100 payment means he can repair his aging heating system before winter, ensuring he stays warm without worrying about emergency repairs. Then there's the Shen family in Vancouver. Mrs. Chen, 68, is the primary caregiver for her 72-year-old husband, who has mobility issues. Their combined payments will help them modify their bathroom with safety features, reducing the risk of falls and maintaining their independence. In rural Ontario, Margaret, 75, has been putting off dental work due to cost concerns. The payment will cover the procedures she needs, addressing a health issue that's been affecting her quality of life for months. These aren't isolated cases. They represent thousands of similar situations across the country where the payment will make a tangible difference in seniors' lives. The program also includes provisions for special circumstances, seniors living in long-term care facilities, those with disabilities, and those in remote communities have been considered in the payment's design. Special arrangements ensure that those who might face barriers to accessing traditional banking services can still receive their payments securely. Financial advisors across Canada are helping seniors integrate this payment into their broader financial planning. While the $2,100 provides immediate relief, 
it's important to consider how it fits into long-term financial security. Many advisors recommend creating a structured plan for the payment that balances immediate needs with future considerations. Linda Thompson, a certified financial planner, suggests, think of this payment as part of your overall financial toolkit. While it's tempting to use it all for immediate expenses, consider setting aside a portion for emergency savings if possible. This can help build long-term financial resilience. Take the example of the Silver Stars Senior Center in Calgary, where volunteers have created a buddy system to help seniors navigate the payment process. We're making sure no one falls through the cracks, explains volunteer coordinator Janet Miller. Sometimes it's as simple as helping someone make a phone call or fill out a form. But these small actions can make a huge difference. The government has also recognized the importance of clear communication about the payment. A comprehensive communication strategy includes regular updates through multiple channels, mail, email, phone, partnerships with community organizations and healthcare providers, multilingual information, accessible formats for seniors with visual or hearing impairments, regular public service announcements and information sessions. But what about long-term implications? The $2,100 payment is part of a broader strategy to modernize senior support systems for the 21st century. Government officials hint at future initiatives that could include improved health care coordination, expanded housing assistance programs, the program has also highlighted the changing nature of retirement in Canada. Today's seniors are more diverse, more active, and facing different challenges than previous generations. The payments design reflects this reality, acknowledging that support needs to be flexible enough to accommodate various lifestyle and circumstances. Healthcare professionals are particularly interested in the potential health impacts of the payment. Dr. Michael Rodriguez, a geriatrician, notes, financial stress can have severe effects on seniors' physical and mental health. By providing this additional support, we might see improvements in various health outcomes, from better medication adherence to reduce anxiety and depression. The program also addresses some unique challenges faced by immigrant seniors. Those who arrived in Canada later in life often face additional financial pressures due to shorter contribution periods to pension systems. While the payment is prorated based on years of residency, it still provides valuable support for these vulnerable community members. Environmental considerations haven't been forgotten either. The digital-first approach to payment administration reduces paper waste, while the support for home maintenance and upgrades can help seniors make their homes more energy efficient. This demonstrates how modern social programs can align with environmental responsibility. Looking at the numbers more closely, the economic impact becomes even more impressive. If we consider the multiplier effect of local spending, the $2,100 payments could generate significantly more economic activity in communities across Canada. Small businesses, in particular, stand to benefit from increased consumer spending by seniors. The program has also sparked innovation in the financial services sector. Banks and credit unions are developing new services tailored to seniors receiving the payment, including special savings accounts with higher interest rates, financial planning services specifically for payment recipients, the impact on rural communities deserves special attention. In many small towns and villages, seniors make up a significant portion of the population. The injection of funds through the OAS payment could help sustain local businesses and services that are essential to these communities' survival. Consider the case of Millbrook, a small Ontario town where the local pharmacy was struggling to remain viable. The increased purchasing power of senior residents through the OAS payment has helped stabilize the business, ensuring continued access to vital medical services for the entire community. The payments rollout has also highlighted the digital divide facing many seniors. 
While online applications and information are convenient for some, others struggle with technology. This has led to increased support for digital literacy programs and better access to internet services for seniors. Local libraries have stepped up to help bridge this gap, offering free computer classes for seniors, one-on-one -on -one tech support sessions, access to computers and internet services, assistance with online applications and forms, regular reviews of senior benefit levels, more frequent adjustments for inflation, enhanced support for specific needs like healthcare and housing, better integration of various support programs. The international community is watching Canada's initiative with interest. Other countries facing similar demographic challenges are studying the program's design and implementation. This could lead to improved support for seniors globally. As we look to the future, the $2,100 OAS payment represents more than just financial assistance. It's a statement about how we value our seniors and a commitment to ensuring they can live with dignity and security. The program's comprehensive approach, considering everything from immediate financial needs to long-term community impact,